back on this bill, man. 2015, all the way back to 2015 when I first bought this El Camino, right? It was blue and light blue and dark blue. It was a flip-flop, conquista color. I dropped y'all a picture up here. But in 2015, I purchased this car, right? No motor, it didn't have a trans, no interior. It didn't even have wheels on it, man. No wheels, no nothing, right? So there's a few things that I learned over the term of my almost 10 years of working on this car. Y'all stay tuned for the whole journey. I can never jump into a video without saying this. God is everything. Without God, I'm nothing. So let's jump into a few things real quick, man. All right, so this is my 1984, 83, 84. I can't remember what year it is, but it's an 83 or 84. This is my El Camino. Um, that's a conquista. That's been completely off of the frame and completely redone. I, I honestly don't think there's been a bolt that hasn't been touched. I know y'all can't tell by the body line or by the body work, by its current condition, but all the body work is done by yours truly. And it is straight, trust me. It's straight. Very straight. But there's a few things I would have done differently, man. So let's 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 before we just backtrack a little bit. In 2015, man, I bought this car for my cousin for $250. Like I said, it had no wheels and tires. No engine, no trans, no seats. I mean, other than the original seat, he did give me some Cadillac seats that um, he was gonna put in it. But uh, I didn't like how they fit. It's such a small car on the inside. Those Cadillac seats were just so bulky. I didn't like how they fit. So I saw those seats. Uh, I had the 200 transmission, ended up selling the 200 transmission. Um, but I started out, the first thing I did with this car was take the whole front end off of it. Why did I do that? Because it was my first time building a car, right? There was absolutely nothing wrong, obviously wrong with the front end, okay? Um, after digging into it, I did see that the car had once been in an accident. Looked like something to be kind of minor, not nothing too crazy, but I could tell it had been in an accident, right? But I then began to uh, do the floor pans in the car. So I did the floor pans, because uh, the car needed uh, three, three floor pans. That's number one. That's one thing I would have done different. I would have literally bought the complete floor. If you got two floor pans in a car, man, just do the complete floor, because all you gotta do is, oh, hold on, hold on, y'all, let me I'm get one start, buddy. Because all you gotta do is cut your old floor out completely, right? Lay the new floor in and then weld it around the edge. Weld it around the edges, same seal it around the edges, and you're done. Versus me, I had three individual pans, and I had welded in this pan, measured, cut it. Go to the other side, weld it, measure it, cut it. The back on one of these sides I had to put in, weld it, measure it, cut it. Put all of the bracing and things back into the floor. I had to put all of that back into the car, man. If I had to do it again, I would just buy the complete floor, all right? What's next? Um, next up, if I had to redo the rear end, I think I may just go ahead and put an 8.8 .8 up under it, if I'm being honest. I left the 7.5 up under it. Uh, I went with the 7.5, Yukon gear and axle, 383, three, no, I said 383, 373 gear ratio. Um, I painted the frame, but as I was priming the car down, I wasn't covering the frame. So I literally just sprayed the frame gray in certain spots. So I gotta go back and spray it back black. But we ain't gonna talk about that. Um, I did go ahead and go with UPR, upper and lower tubular control arms. Non-adjustable, just regular plain Jane. Um, I think if I had to do it again, another thing I would have done was go ahead and go with the tubular control arms in the front. Uh, for the open lower, just go ahead and go with the tubulars and be done. Would probably would have been another thing I would have done. Uh, different. Uh, what else? Once I finish, man, I'm gonna give y'all the order that I would have done this for. All right. So let's see. What else? What else? What what did I cover? Let's see. Um, yeah, I, I would have still poured all the glass out of it. I would have still done all of that. Um, 
But if I gotta be honest, uh, I think I pretty much covered everything that I probably would have done differently. Uh, 8 8. The engine I would have stayed with the same. The engine is a LS with a cam. Transmission is a 4L80, and it is built for built for about seven or eight hundred horses. Uh, 3200 stall. Um, I think that's about it, man. That's about it. The rear, like I said, the, the rear got the control arms up and lower. Um, a lot of this would have depended on my pockets, but at the time my pockets was my pockets was that big, so I had to do what I had to do. Uh, the dashboard is done, as y'all know that. Um, the seats still got to be done, but I think I had to change the heart on the interior, right? We may end up cutting a hole in the floor to end up putting bucket seats and a, and a console in here, so I can run a, a floor shifter, right? That may end up, you know. That, that may end up what happened to this car, man, because I kind of I kind of like the floor shifters now. I kind of like that, that, that setup. So, um, but, all right, now that we covered all that, let's go over what I would, how, how, how I would have done this car, right? In the condition it was, it needed floor pans, it needed a motor, transmission, et cetera, et cetera, right? This is how I would have done it. I would have got this car left the exterior alone there was absolutely nothing wrong with the exterior other than it needed to be painted and i mean it wasn't rusty it was nothing it was perfect if i can find an old picture i will drop y'all one in here of it but it did not need nothing i would have got some wheels for it i bought me some rally wheels for this car um done the floor pans i would have done the floor pans uh, I would have checked over the brake lines and the brakes and everything, make sure they were good, but I want to change. I went ahead and changed all the brakes and everything when I was doing it, but I would have just looked over them just to make sure they worked. And the next thing I would have did was put the motor and transmission in this car and drove it around, got this car mobile first, got it where it was moving and driving. And, um, the interior did need to be done, so I might have would have done the interior next. Um, Edged out all the glass and stuff like I did. Like, edged it out, put all the glass back in. And, man, while I was working on this car, I could have been driving it. Uh, so, I just wish I had just done all that differently, man. Motor transmission, floor pans, and just getting the car ready to be able to mo be mobile. Uh, because that's one of my biggest... That's how I keep losing my motivation in the car. I keep, I keep losing... The motivation because I can't necessarily drive it. It moves, but I still can't drive it. One of those, seats ain't bolted back. Seats aren't done. They hard and they'll cut you up if you sit in there too long. So, I do have rally wheels for this car. I can bolt them on and do something, but we are getting ready to get the uh, windows and things back in here pretty soon. Um, I, I, I gotta get this uh, seal. There's a seal that goes here. On this uh, quarter window, once I get that sealed, the quarter windows will be going back in. I got an edge around this back glass. I got an edge around where the roll pad has to go back on. And then we're going to be getting the back glass back in. Get all the side windows, and I still got to get a windshield. Once I get a windshield, I'm going to throw that in. And we're going to go ahead and bolt the dash in. I still got to find somebody to do the seats. And yeah, man. That's a lot of a lot of what I wanted would have would have done differently, man. That's a lot of what I would have done uh, if I had to do this thing again, man. Below in the comment section, man, tell me about your projects. Tell me about some things you learned. Um, but one thing I don't, I, I can say I do not regret it. Uh, how I did it. Well, I do regret how I did it, but I don't regret doing it because it, it, it took for me to do that to learn to be able to make this video today to help y'all, you know, not make the same mistakes. If you want to see the video of me starting this thing up, click here. Thanks for watching, man. If you show interest in supporting the channel, man, you can support us using the Cash App or the PayPal, man. We really appreciate anything, man. If you got something you want to send us, man, the address is down there up on the talk to us man if you got something you want to send us or email us right there at pools tv 
everything is there man appreciate the support man pools tv gone